Thundercats is undoubtedly one of the most popular animated series from the 80s, and almost everyone grew up watching the original show or some spin-off version of the same. It was a top-rated show in the golden age of cartoons, and it even inspired many reboots and newer versions. Despite being such a hit, Thundercats was unfortunately canceled after just two seasons. Even the reboots and spin-offs have been unable to avoid the same fate, and one does wonder why such a popular show faced this fate over and over again. Today we will explore the sad saga of the Thundercats, and tell you all about the controversies and issues surrounding the cancellation of this well-loved show. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. What went wrong for the 80s Thundercats? Did the controversial content get in the way? Thundercats was first created by Tobin Wolf and Leonard Starr, and it was produced by Rankin Bass Productions. The show followed the lives of humanoid cats from a distant planet that ended up on Third Earth after their homeworld, Thundera, was attacked by an evil sorcerer, Mumra. Mumra aimed to eradicate the Thundarians, while Lion-O and other Thundercats attempted to thwart his attempts. When most of us try and recollect some story arcs from the Thundercats, we don't really think of controversial scenes or themes that drastically impacted us as kids. The show did not have any extreme elements that were noticed by kids, and the creators were also especially concerned with the kind of message they were putting out through the show. They even hired a psychologist to review the material and ensure that they promoted moral themes, but the common public still had strong opinions about the show's content. Thundercats was often criticized by parents and protest groups who viewed the show as a violent toy ad, and it was even removed from syndication along with some other shows. The action for children's television led this protest, and they even approached the Federal Communications Commission and asked them to take some action. However, the government body did not find the show inappropriate, and they also green-lighted the network to go ahead and broadcast it on the condition that they would not advertise their merchandise on the show. The Thundercats movie attempt in the 80s was not the brightest move. After the success of the Thundercats show, the studios realized that they had the potential to release a movie based on the series and that it might yield profits. Moreover, their merchandise sales were also high, and the studios went ahead and greenlighted a movie titled Thundercats Ho. However, they soon realized that spin-off movies based on Transformers and Gobots had all flopped at the box office, and they soon changed their mind and decided to cancel this movie attempt. Instead of going ahead with a theater release, they decided to to release this movie on television, and they later turned it into five episodes that take place before the show's second season. However, this butchered the movie's plot, because turning a seamless two-hour-long movie into a bunch of 20-minute episodes results in some confusion, especially due to the cuts made to shorten the film. Thundercats Ho was based on the premise that the three main characters go on an adventure to find more Thundarians who had escaped from their planet and landed on Third Earth. While this made for an interesting plot, it confused the viewers, who were presented with five random episodes instead of a whole movie. These episodes did not give any real explanation or fill any major plot holes for events that take place before the second season, and this movie attempt was quite a failure. Was the toy line failing the final nail in the coffin? Thundercats was not created to sell toys. The creators were quite dedicated to their craft and only wanted to tell good stories. However, the show's merchandise was quite a hit with the younger audiences, and one of the writers even revealed that they were often asked to write in new characters if the toy manufacturers felt that they would help their sales. The writers and creatives team initially showed a lot of interest in coming up with the exciting backstories and plans to sell these characters. While the toy sales did go up at first, the toy manufacturer stopped creating action figures to go along with the series after a while. The show's second season was divided into three installments, and the toy manufacturers stopped producing the toy action figures just before the release of the last installment. There were a few new releases and card packs, but the toy line eventually lost appeal. These toys have become quite valuable over time, and they're also considered to be collectives. But the failure of the toy line also eventually served as the final nail in the coffin for the original Thundercats. Why did the network lose interest? Rankin Bass Animation Studios were initially hyped after the success of the first season of Thundercats, and they had even approved 65 episodes for the show's first season. Such a huge number of episodes significantly helped the show gain more popularity, as they would enable them to broadcast up to five episodes per week and continue for at least three months. Longer seasons were also in the network's interest, because they allowed them more chances to arrange reruns of older seasons. After the success of the initial season, the Telepictures Corporation decided to greet light another 65 episodes, but they decided to take a different approach. Instead of releasing daily episodes, they lost interest and decided to release the new season in three slots from 1987 to 1989. They released around 20 episodes each year, and the audience soon started losing interest in the show after the network adopted this strategy. 
Why did the 2011 Thundercats reboot get canceled? The 2011 Thundercat reboot was a bold attempt at revamping the franchise name, but sadly, it did not do well and was canceled after just 26 episodes. This show was created by Ethan Spaulding and Michael Jelinek, and it first premiered on Cartoon Network in July 2011. There were many reasons that led to this reboot's cancellation, and we will explore a few of them. The reboot was quite ahead of its time. One central reason why this reboot didn't work out was that it was pretty ahead of its time. This reboot only took some inspiration from the original show and had a refreshing approach. While the original show was sci-fi, the 2011 reboot was a fantasy show with fantastic animation and visual aesthetics. The show's main characters lived on Third Earth and faced threats in the form of Mumra's evil forces who tried to attack their kingdom. In this reboot, Mumra was portrayed as a dangerous villain instead of just a recurring, ineffective foe. Lion-O and Mumra were compelling foils to each other, and Lion-O's character was quite well developed in this reboot. He had his moments of self-doubt and insecurities after becoming a leader out of nowhere, and this reboot also introduced rich plot lines where the Thundercats also faced some internal conflicts. Lion-O had to deal with his loss after his father's death, learn how to rule the state, and also navigate his personal relationships. This show was primarily set on Third Earth, where Lion-O learns to rule their kingdom after his father's death, and this reboot also introduced Lion-O and Tigra as siblings. This reboot had a lot of personal drama while the characters tried to fight Mumra and get their hands on the Book of Omens that would aid them in their fight. It was quite action-packed and is the most well-executed version of the show. This may be why it felt heavy to the audiences that expected a light-hearted show where the Thundercats go on filler adventures. It was quite an excellent plot-driven show, but it just did not align with the kind of fun, light-hearted content that fans expected to see at the time. Poor toy sales. The original Thundercats success is partially due to the fact that the creators also released a lot of merch and toys alongside the episodes. Children especially enjoyed these toys inspired by their favorite characters, and the 2011 Thundercat reboot was also expected to have similar levels of success on this front. Sadly, this plan did not come to fruition, and they saw poor toy sales that also inevitably led to the show's cancellation budget constraints. The show was also canceled due to budget issues, especially after the Fukushima nuclear facility disaster in Japan that impacted the financial markets in the U.S. Since the show was a collaboration between Japanese and American corporations, this incident led to the budget per episode increasing from around $325,000 to approximately $550,000, while Warner Brothers still greenlighted the production and allowed Cartoon Network to go ahead with the show. Bad ratings and sales eventually led them to change their minds. Audience Reviews When the Thundercats reboot first premiered, it garnered a lot of praise from critics who enjoyed the sophisticated, darker version of the show. However, the show was not accepted by hardcore fans of the original series, who did not approve of this fresh take on the show. This caused a drastic decline in rating scores which eventually led to the show's cancellation. While it was supposed to have a total of 52 episodes, including 4 story arcs that extend for 13 episodes each, the show was pulled off the network after just 26 episodes. This was quite unfortunate as we have seen fans slowly accept this version of Thundercats over time. This reboot was actually what fans wanted to see in this show for so long, and it's a pity that the show did not get the recognition it deserved at the time of its release. Rise in streaming Around the time that this reboot premiered, streaming sites such as Netflix were on the rise, and older audiences had already moved on to using them instead of watching broadcast television. Younger audiences did still watch cartoons on television, but this reboot did not have a prime slot, and kids were also not interested in watching a reboot of an 80s show when they had many other options. Paired with the fact that the older audience had lost interest in broadcast television, the rise of streaming services also had a massive impact on viewership, and eventually led to a cancellation of this reboot. Ultimately, the show's art director, Dan Norton, announced that the show was slated for cancellation in early 2013. What caused Thundercats Roar to get cancelled? Cartoon Network later made another attempt at resurrecting the Thundercats series in February 2020 when they released Thundercats Roars. This version of the show was developed by Marley Halpern Grazer and Victor Courtright, and it was produced by Warner Brothers. It was also the only version in the franchise where the original creator, Jules Bass, worked without the help of his co-creator, Arthur Rankin Jr., who had passed away a few years ago. This show was based on the same premise as the original, but it had a unique humor and animation style that 
that set it apart. However, it failed to launch itself and even garnered some bad ratings before it premiered. Thundercats Roar was not at all accepted by the audience, and the creators did not give any official reason for its cancellation. However, the primary reason was the adverse reactions by the audience, who even trended hashtags such as hashtag Thundercats No protest against the show's production. The writer and producer of the show, Marley Halpern Grazer, finally announced the show's cancellation on Twitter. He announced this on the day of the series finale and added that there would be two special episodes for Thanksgiving and Christmas later. The show ran for only one season, from February to November 2020, and fans also commented on the show's cancellation and stated that they felt that the show was doomed from the moment it was announced. One major reason for the general dislike towards Thundercats Roar was the character design and comedic tone, which received huge backlash from hardcore fans. The show had adapted a new animation style, and there were significant revisions in character designs for Lion O and Mumra, among others. They did not bode well with the fans, who mass boycotted the show until it was finally pulled off the network. Exploring the Thundercats movie that never materialized. Rumors of a new Thundercats movie first did the rounds in 2007, but there has yet to be an official announcement for the same. Initially, Warner Brothers were set to release a remake of this well-loved series, and they had hoped to put out a film in 2010. They even hired writer Paul Saposi to work on a script for the movie, and the initial steps to create this movie were in motion when they hired James O'Flaherty to direct the film. There were also some suggestions for the cast, and Mila Jovovich had also hoped to star in this Thundercats film. The movie was supposed to focus on the events that take place in the original Thundercats pilot episode titled Exodus. In this episode, we learn everything from Lion O's origin story as he steps up to lead the Thundercats and faces Mumra. While it seemed that this movie was in the works, it was later revealed that this project had actually never been approved by Warner Brothers. The film was actually canceled in 2009, even after some official Thundercats Cat's art was released to the public. There was no explanation for the cancellation, but it seems that the studio did not want to invest money in this project as they were unsure about how well it might perform. They also released a movie based on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 2007, and this movie could have performed better commercially. The studio then decided against the Thundercats movie, as it would have also failed in the same way. It was also speculated that the studio was trying to shift from producing films and bigger projects to focusing on smaller projects such as series. In 2002, they also announced an animated Thundercats series that would replace their movie plans, which aligns with their plans to focus on smaller projects. This animated series was later cancelled after one season, and Warner Brothers finally did circle back to their original movie release plan. They also recruited Adam Wingard to direct this movie, which is a good choice since he is a huge fan of the franchise and he can do justice to the Thundercats. While there have been no updates on this movie for a very long time, we can only hope that it will materialize someday and be a huge hit. Conclusion To sum it up, Thundercats certainly had its fair share of controversies, and it is a shame that the show could not survive for a long time. Multiple attempts to reboot the franchise were unsuccessful, ranging from the 2011 reboot to Thundercats Roar in 2020. Regardless, the Thundercats franchise is fondly remembered by many, and we hope that one day we might get a new version of the show that manages to break the curse of cancellation. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.